You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Did Jesus Descend into Hell When He Died? There are some who believe that hell is a burning place of eternal torment for sinners and that it exists somewhere down inside the earth. This viewpoint crept into the church when Christianity and paganism joined hands. The reference in Ephesians of Christ descending into the lower parts of the earth is interpreted by this group to mean hell. But can this view be supported from the Bible? The word hell, which is not used in this passage, is used 54 times in the King James. In 12 cases, it does indeed refer to a place of burning. But we need to remember that the final destruction of the wicked in the fires of hell will happen at a future time, 2 Peter 2.9. Jesus speaks of gathering the wicked for punishment at the end of the world, Matthew 13.40-42. Until then, all who are dead are in their graves and are awaiting the first resurrection to eternal life or the second resurrection to damnation, John 5, 28 and 29. When Christ died, he was placed in a tomb. Jesus descended into a grave where he rested until resurrection morning, Luke 23, 52 through 55. When he rose from the grave, Jesus broke the portals of the tomb. His victory over death was also marked by a small resurrection of others at his death. The graves were open, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Matthew 27, 52. It was this group of people who were captives of death that Jesus took with him into heaven when he ascended. Our key Bible text for today comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 8 through 10. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended upon high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.